Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be talking about data types in JavaScript. As part of my series in JavaScript, today, we'll be talking about data types, what they are, and then how you can use them. My last video was on variables, how you can create variables in JavaScript. But when you create a variable, you assign variables values, and then you need to specify which value that variable can take. So let's say, for instance, I create a variable, and let's say I call it let x x is equal to 7 if i say x is equal to 7 the 7 over here is a data type so in javascript we're talking about the number the string and then object i'll do full video on objects in javascript but these are the three major data types in javascript data types are just classification that specify which type of value a variable can hold so we declare a variable we call that variable what x and then we assign a value to it and this value is what seven so this value over here is seven and it's a number so that is a number data type we also have a string so i can also create another variable let me say let name name so mostly strings are in double quote or single quote so I can say let name is called to Timothy. And remember, you need to end every statement with a semicolon. So this becomes what's a string. So you can see characters that comes together to form a string. So when you put something to double quotes like this, this becomes what a string in what JavaScript. And it is cut across in other programming languages. Okay. We also have objects, and objects are mostly declared in what curly brackets. So I can say constant, you can use whatever way to declare a variable. You can use constant or let of, you just use the vacuum, depending on what you want to do. So if I declare, let's say I call my constant person, there are some properties a person will have. So we can just say person and then put into bracket this way. And then the person is basically going to have a first name. So I can say something like the first name and you have to bring a colon, first name and first name of the person. Let's say the first name is Timothy. Okay, you can go ahead and also specify, let's say, age of the person. You bring a colon, then you just type the age over there. You, the age is not going to be in what code because this is going to be a number data type but the timothy is what a string okay so just take note of this how you can easily declare variables in javascript when you declare the variables you have the data type you assign to them so this is an object this is a string and then this is what a number a number can be in any form you can also have a decimal number you can say seven points you can say seven point nine and it's also a number so this one, these are the three major data types we have in words javascript so we have opened this in my browser already but today i'm not going to do so much of the demonstration i just want you to know i just want you to know the data types you have so if i print something like this if i have my data type as let i can go ahead and print this out and say maybe let's say write you can just use document.write to print this out so you can just go ahead and the document of and I put the value what x over there. Remember the s is the variable I created, which is holding, which is holding the data type, the number. Okay, so I can just print this out once I save this, and then I go ahead, I go ahead and then reload this. You can see I'm printing the 7.9 within my browser. You can easily do this. Remember when you are signing of values is dynamic. So even if I should go ahead and then this x, I can still call this x. And then go ahead and then give it a different number. Let's say the number 67. Initially, I gave 7.9 and then I assigned a different number 67. Let's save this and then print it out and see which of them will be printed out. You can see now we have printed 67 instead of what 7.9. So the value we assign is what the dynamic. We can also use the same method to also print out the string. So data types are very important. When you want to create a variable, you need to know the data type you are going to give, either a number, a string, or object. I'll do more of the object. I'll focus more of the object in another video. Just target just object in another video. So you can go ahead and then just see 
document dot let's say right and then within the bracket you can just say name and it should be printing what timothy because the timothy is holding the value what the name is holding the value timothy so just put the name over there and then just save this and print it out and you should be getting what timothy so this is how to use data types and we'll be using more of this in practical so you can see timothy has been printed as well so these are the major data types we have in what in javascript remember to subscribe and then turn on post notification for more of such videos i'll be doing more related videos in program we'll be doing more of coding very soon on this channel so remember to like and subscribe for more till i come again bye bye Thank you.